and I, I can't afford to be nice anymore. Because if he votes yes, I'm a dead man, and I'm not exaggerating. Here in Cleveland, emotions are running high over the Senate Republican health bill. Daryl Price, who has cerebral palsy, is scared by the proposed cuts and caps to Medicaid that he says could force him into a nursing home. He's lobbying his senator, Rob Portman, before the likely vote Thursday. So he's going to vote yes on this thing. No, he's, he's, uh, he's still undecided, and he really hasn't, he hasn't had a chance to read through the whole bill right now. So he's looking at it in you know, the details. Well, you, he said in the Dayton Daily News that we need more time on this. So if, if McConnell is going to force the vote by Friday, what alternative is there other than voting no? Portman, a Republican, has landed at the center of the health care debate in Ohio, where Medicaid was expanded to cover 700,000 people under the Affordable Care Act, or Obamacare. Now Portman's vote could sway the outcome of the Senate bill, dubbed the Better Care Reconciliation Act. Republicans can only lose two votes of their majority and hope to pass it. Ohio Republicans are as mixed as Republicans in the Senate on the bill. Some like the bill, some think it goes too far with cuts to Medicaid, some think it doesn't go far enough, and others don't yet know enough about it. But many agree that something needs to be done about the ACA. It's broken, it's getting too expensive. I know personally myself, I have seen my premiums go up. I think Mr. Portman should vote for it. It's not perfect, but it's gonna be better than what we already have. A new Wall Street Journal NBC News poll shows that only 16% of Americans like the Republicans' proposed health care bill. 41% still like the Affordable Care Act. When asked if Congress and President Trump should continue their efforts to repeal and replace the ACA, the answer was split. But only 9% wanted the ACA to be left unchanged. Portman says he is still undecided. Five other Republican senators have already said they can't support it in its current form and no Democrats are expected to vote for it, putting the bill in jeopardy. Ohioans like Adams want Congress to put politics aside and work together on health care. I know the political climate today is very demagoguing. I just wish the Democrats and the Republicans could put that demagoguing aside. And I don't care who gets credit for it. They just got to come up with a bill that is going to help the American people.